Okay, what is going on everybody? Um, today we're going to be doing a patio seal. So if you're looking to add another service to your business without having to buy a whole bunch of crazy uh, equipment, some low cost ways to increase your revenue, patio sealing is definitely something in our wheelhouse. And it also goes along with the services that we're already doing. A lot of us already pressure wash and clean off patios, so why not seal them? Right now I'm just using an HDX chemical sprayer and I'm pouring some patio seal in it. This I believe is an SRW brand, but the brand doesn't really matter. Bayer, there's um, a whole bunch of different sealers out there. You can get high gloss, uh, low luster, uh, natural look. A lot of that's going to be up to the client and what they want, but a lot of them go on the same. So here we go, we poured it into sprayer. HDX sprayer here and uh, we're basically going to get to work. So the first step is to make sure that you blow off the patio. Here we are just using my leaf blower. We're just going to move some of this loose debris. We're going to move right along here, getting as much off as possible. It's not super important that you get every speck of dirt, but you do want to have a nice clean area. I'm just using a scraper here to get some moss away from the steps and stone here, and I'm just going to blow the rest of that away. So I'm going to start in this corner. Here you see me adjusting the fan tip. These things are not perfect. You're never going to get a beautiful spray out of these unless you probably have a high-end sprayer. But I don't do enough uh, anything with my surface cleaner. I, or I'm sorry, my pump sprayer. I don't do, do enough um, close-up bleach spraying. I don't do enough patio sealer to really have a nice one. There are some really nice pump sprayers out there. This is just a $20 one from Home Depot. And as you can see, it's not even. Uh, but that's not that big of a deal. We're going to coat it, and then you'll see in just a minute, we're going to roll it out. That's what the instructions on the can say. Basically, lay it out as much as possible, and then we're going to even it out with a roller. As you can see here, this corner is going to be a lot thicker than anywhere else. This is where you're going to have a lot of water sit. You're going to have, this is obviously the corner of the house, if there's any obstruction with the uh, downspouts and the uh, gutters. You're going to have water pool over in these corners. It's also the shady spot, so they're going to dry slower than the rest of the patio that might get a little more sun. So as this project goes on, you'll see that it's a little thicker here in this corner. But basically, you roll it out and try to get it as even as possible. Now, don't worry. I know there's some edges that aren't covered here. This is just the beginning. It's not a, a one spray and then roll type thing. We're going to roll it out, spray it, make sure we have enough to coat the entire patio, and then we'll come back. So here we are. We rolled it out a little bit. You'll see that I'm going back and hitting some low spots, getting it really thick here in this area. Now, this right here is a low luster, more of a natural clear coat. Um, it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to dry with too much shine. What this is doing is really just protecting the stone. Stone is porous. It's just going to keep moisture out of it. It's going to help keep the patio clean for longer and in between ceilings, it makes cleaning the patio easier. So here we are moving on, just continuing to pump and spray, pump and spray. Very easy. This is something that's very easy to add to your um, your toolbox here. So $20 pump spray, as long as you keep it clean, maintain it after every job, rinse it out, rinse out the hose, rinse out the tips. They will last for a long time. The can one gallon of SRW was about $50. This customer, I did quote for two coats. Um, I quoted this small patio in an area in the front for about $600. Um, the can of uh, SRW, it's very compatible or comparable with a bear, was about fifty dollars. So your your margins are pretty good here. I don't do anything for cheap. There's a lot of guys in the area that will do this. They charge higher than me. Um, my idea of this is if you don't want to do it yourself and you want me to spend my time, is I'm going to charge what I want to charge and if you accept me then you get my price now like I said I'm a little cheaper you can look up quotes for your area some areas will do a dollar per square foot some are a little bit more expensive but 
Very quick, very easy job, low overhead. You're gonna buy something like a leaf blower, you're gonna buy that roller, um, and you're gonna buy your pump sprayer, but a lot of those you're gonna be able to reuse. I rinsed out my roller very well, and I'll be able to reuse that again. The pump sprayer I've had for a long time, as well as a leaf blower I've had for years. So the only thing you're gonna have to do per job is buy that gallon of um, sealer, and it can really go a long way. I think I put two coats on the back, even though the customer only asked for one, I just had so much left over. And then this patio here up front, I think I might've coated this three times. I did both of these on one gallon, so I charged $600 for this patio and only used $40 in, or I'm sorry, probably about $50 in material. Um, so in my mind, it was a, a pretty good job. You 